and welcome back. I'm Maddie, but if you're new here, welcome. And you should definitely go ahead and hit subscribe and the bell for notifications for weekly videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. Today, I am going over my Louis Vuitton GM setup. I wanted to just do like a thorough flip through because it is working for me right now and I just wanted to share my setup. So, I'll just give you guys a little view of the top and then the side. And then the bottom. I love this planner so much. Um, I have no regrets. Um, and I'm definitely not going to be moving out of this anytime soon. Oops. So, in these front pockets here, I just have, I just got these ash dots actually today from... Um, cloth and paper. I was really excited to get these. Um, and then I just got these like semi-transparent dots from Jackson Pepper, I think, on Etsy. And then I just have, I cut these down. These are Editor of Chic. <coughs> Excuse me. I really love these. And then I have some fine stickers from cloth and paper. I just keep these all back here because I do use them a lot in like, my planning, my uh, what do you call it? Um, monthly section. And then over here, I just have a picture of me and my boyfriend. And this is from Elm on Paper Co. And I just have like a little clip right here to just keep it in place. And um, this actually like fits down here, but I kind of like just seeing like more of our body instead of just like our heads. So I did stick like a piece of tape <laughs> just to keep it right there, but I don't even know if it's staying. Um, and then over here, this is a um, what do you call it? Pile of facts dashboard, and you can actually stick stuff back here, but I just stuck on this three-part card holder from MaxiFix as well. I'll show you guys real quick. So, like, I bought these in, like, a bundle, um, but it just works really well, and I can stick stuff back there if I want to, but I don't have to. Um, and then, yeah, I just got this. This is from Infinite Lotus, it just came with one of my orders. This is a make it work like little card I got in one of my cloth and paper orders. Or I think the subscription box. And then this is um, from uh, Elmon Paper Co. And then over here, I actually made this. This is a piece of acetate. And I stuck a big card holder right here, like an adhesive pocket from Amazon. And then um, well, I guess this is from All Eclipse too. I forgot to mention that. Um, and then these are just like two business card holders that were adhesive as well. Um, this is just, I made this a long time ago. I need to redo it. These are just like things I want to do AM and PM wise, like daily planning stuff that I want to get done. This is my planning system. I actually, this is a freebie on my website and, or my blog, I should say. Um, and you can print this out. I have it sized to where it can fit in your planner. I have it in my planner. You'll see in a second, but I just kind of wanted it like small like this too, so I can refer back to it when I am planning like weekly and bi-weekly, because I do that a lot, obviously. And then this is just like a piece of vellum I printed with like my name on it. And then back here I stuck, I think just two adhesive pockets in the back here. So I just had more stuff I wanted to store. So these are just things I want to do uh, occasionally, I don't know if you can even see that, but, um, yeah, I just printed this on a piece of acetate, these are just, like, little labels I made, um, this is from the planner spot, came in one of my orders, this is another, like, one of those dashboards, um, not from Filofax, but in that big order, like, an adhesive bundle order I purchased since they were, like, discontinuing the Filofax, I just, like, I bought, like, two packs of them, but this is, like, a big secretarial pocket, and then I stuck one of these like smaller ones on here. Um, this is a planner card from Cloth and Paper. This is um, from Elmon Paper Co. Just like a cute little like journaling card. And then they, these were misprint. This is just um, Infinite Lotus um, lists, but I'm just gonna use them for like notes and stuff. But I just stuck them back here for now. Um, and I just love how like the layering with, looks like this. And I actually use, I want to make them more functional, like I think I'm going to put some task cards in here, but um, I really just like having like the month that I'm on, a reference up there, 
a clip for you know receipts or something and then like everything I need to do daily and I just love how functional it is and how transparent it is it just looks really good and then I have like important dates right here and then we actually get to my dashboard this is um a duo from Elm on Paper Pals, a piece of them, and then you get the cardstock. And then this is my contents page. And then uh, this is the freebie, or this is another freebie. And this isn't a lot of family sizes, but it just has like everything for the getting things done method, like just listing out like the explanations of everything. And then on the back, I actually have the chart. And this is what you're supposed to do every time you put something in your inbox. And I have my inbox, and these are just things that I need to get done. So um, this system's been working out really well for me. So this is a vellum sheet from Pulp and Paper. So anything that is like super, like I need to do within the next week or two, goes on a sticky note. And I have urgent like things I need to get done like right now. And then these are like when I have time, which I need a list of that. And then these are more of like ideas and stuff I need to transfer to a different planner. And then this sheet, which this is, um, this one's from Cloth and Paper. And then this notes sheet is a printable, I bought the printable version from Cloth, uh, Infinite Lotus. Um, this is just like my waiting for list. And I just like labeled it a waiting. I don't know if you can even see that. This is from a Paper Co. And then I just love the layering of this. This is like, I don't like having too many dashboards and stuff, but I can't get rid of anything in my planner right now. I'm too obsessed with it all. So um, this is a this is the same material as like the um, Infinite Lotus dividers. I love how thin it is. And then I just got this piece of acid tape printed with my name from May Paper Co. And then we actually get into my setup. So um, my tabs are labeled. Schedule, plans, finances, projects, vision, and miscellaneous. And these are the same material as the Simplify. It's like a frosted mat almost, it feels like. Um, and then I just printed this. I just like having a, a reference calendar of the entire year. And then um, I just have like this cute little dashboard I got from one of my Sessa V orders. Or, well, it's another printable version but then um, I really like that it had all of, like the holidays and then we get into my months this is from um, Elmont Paper Co and um, these are this is like the entire year so it just has like a small calendar um, and then I just list out important dates so this is like where I pre-plan -pre everything um, over here these are just priorities I just wanted to make just to remind myself of things that like sometimes I get a little too caught up in work or things that, like I think I want to get done. What's up? Voila! Oh my god, babe. I know. What the <laughs> you want to show the camera? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm glad you're recording. <laughs> mm. I just want to like keep in mind that these things are more important than work. Um, and then this is from the wonderful blog, wonderful planning blog. I just printed it out. I'm gonna like make my own, but I uh, just like this for reference for the time being. And then this is just like a little uh, business card holder thing, adhesive pocket from Amazon. And then over here, so this flips to this quarter is like where I do all my pre-planning because I don't keep a whole month or a whole year of these monthly overviews in here. Um, so I like to pre-plan everything in here because it's only two pages. Um, and it just, it saves a lot of room in my printer, but I can still have a space to put dates for stuff that is in the next, you know, year. Um, so yeah, I have it on this quarter right now, and then I will move this divider once, uh, April rolls around. And then, so, um, I actually already have it because I took out the other, so I usually keep three months in here. I usually keep the month right before. Um, so I would keep uh, right now, so since we're in March, I usually keep February, March, and April. Um, I just like to have the month um, right before the month I'm in and then right after, just to have that kind of, just to have like that reference if I need to look back at dates or if I need to look ahead at dates. 
Um, but yeah, this is the only monthly calendar I use, so I really committed to these when I shouldn't have. So I may start using them just because I have them and they're already dated, um, but we'll see. So, March, and then I already have it on April because it's almost April. And then we get into our weekly planner. This is another all on paper co cover page. And then I just made this little task card with things I want to try to do every um, week. And then we have my weekly overviews. And I always use these. Um, these in my, like these three, these first three tabs I always use. So I always use like my important dates, my monthly overview, and then my weekly overview. So this is this week right here. And I always keep a month of these in here. And this is the same as in my Final Facts pocket. And then we get into my um, timed weeklies. And these for um, pre-planning, and then I kind of, I add it to my daily, and then I go back and throughout the day, and I just see what I'm getting done. Um, I got on Etsy. I just wanted to try some different timed weeklies. I really like these, because it's just like strictly um, schedule-oriented, but I kind of wanted something that I can, so like so maybe I don't have to use like a daily page, I can just use these and like write a task list as well. So I'm just, I'm just testing out different techniques for me because everyone's different when they plan. So that's like my schedule section and then we get into my planning section. So um, I just printed this, I think I got this, this is just like a cover page from Elma Paper Co. So I, um, over here, I just like wrote some notes and then I just stuck on one of these like adhesive pockets I got off of Amazon. And these are just, this is the same one I have in my pocket, it's just a bigger size. I laminated it too. And this has like things I want to do every day. And I have a couple different like AMP and routines, but this does change with the season too. So I kind of like keep them all lingering in my planners and then I kind of use them how I need to. And then this is like my planning system. I have this in all of my planners and this is a freebie on my blog, which I am since it has, like I have like, like Corey's work schedule. I didn't realize I put like personal information on here. So I am gonna change that um, and then make that available on the blog. And then it has like, so you have, I have like daily things I wanna do, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly as needed. So this is like print cut inserts, update system, tidy refill pockets. And then on the back, I have like yearly things that you should be scheduling and like new setup, checklist, deadlines. Um, these are, uh, this is kind of like a rough draft. I'm going to redo this and make it a little more straightforward, but for now, that's my planning system. And then I have this weekly review checklist, which I'm going to make available on my blog. Once I'm going to make it, I'm going to like change all the fonts and make it to where it fits with this just because... I like things that look cohesive. <laughs> um, this is when I was kind of still learning how to make any kind of insert cute, so I was struggling a bit. <laughs> um, as you can see, this is the, uh, the old chart I used compared to <laughs> this new chart I have. So, quite different, but um, this is my cleaning routine. I think I'm gonna update this too and make it a little more straightforward as well and make it a freebie. But these are just things that I like to just keep as a reference in my planners. And then I have Airbnb routines. Um, and then this uh, last bottom tab goes to, um, like, these are, like, the weekly categories from Elmon Paper Co. And I really, really, really like this insert. So it has, um, I'll show you a blank one. Yeah, this is prep blank enough. Um, you have Monday through Sunday, and then you have different categories. So right now I've been doing schedule, personal, home, and then systematic mapping and chasing the good vibes, the two YouTube channels we're doing. But um, honestly, I'm going to not put a schedule section here after this week, and I'm going to just like do strictly all the projects I'm working on. But it's a really cool insert. Um, uh, this is last week, which I kind of... Stopped using it after Friday, but yeah, it's it's really cool. I really like this one. And then I 
I'm gonna use this Elmon Paper Co. insert. I just got some of hers because I wanted, I'm just trying to, I'm still kind of new to planning, so I'm trying to figure out my favorite technique on planning. So like my main planning things are these three tabs. So like I always use my important dates. I always use my monthly overview and I always use my weekly overview. And then this one's kind of like more projects. Like, so these are like priorities and like things that I have to be at. And then, um, and then like this kind of like changes like the personal and work, like the task list. Sometimes I just write down things I want to get done that week. Sometimes they are like um, time sensitive, but usually I'll put time sensitive stuff here. And then this is more for like projects or whatever videos I'm working on or blog stuff I'm working on. Um, so I really think this insert will work well too because it's the same, it's Monday through Sunday on the side. And so I can like write my schedule down here or things that I want to get done, like set deadlines for myself. And then over here I can just take notes or I can make like little charts or just task lists, like different lists. So I really like that. And then we get into my daily planner. This is another, I printed some of Elma, or I bought some of her printable dailies and I really, really like, um, she gives you like a cover page with all of your, all, all of your inserts. If you buy them physically or um, digitally, she always leave, or gives you like some kind of cover page, which I really appreciate because I don't like just pulling up my finances and seeing like a bunch of numbers, you know, you kind of want to have a little bit of privacy. Um, but so I made this task card, I print it on white, um, label tape, which I think turned out so cute. Now the bottom one, I accidentally, um, used a different font, but for now I thought it was really cute. And I put the Ivy, um, Lee method, which I'm on paper go put this on the back. So I just kind of like copied it and put it on here just cause I wanted it in case I changed this cover page. And I just thought this was really cute inspired by Maddie Bland. Um, and then this is just like a Fi uh, Filofax adhesive pocket. I just have some like notes of daily things I want to get done. And then method. And then so these are my paper co. I just wanted to try some of her inserts. Like I said, I've been testing out a bunch of different ones. Um, but yeah, I like, I do have like some schedule ones. And then these are from Infinite Lotus. And these are really, really cool. So you get to print or you get to type out your um, six, yeah, you get to uh, label all six of these lists. So I did personal business, next next action projects, tonight, um, reminder, and then tomorrow. Um, but yeah, you can print those however you want. Um, I've printed them a couple different ways. And then this is a today marker. This is um, from Hoffman Paper and uh, in the Happy Planner Classic size, and I just cut it down, so it's a little, it's not like the perfect cut, but yeah, I just like traced it myself, and I, it was kind of risky to do, but I just really like the material. I actually bought some more, so I'm going to cut those and maybe use them as dashboards, because I really just like the design of them. And so this was uh, yesterday, actually. Um, and then, so this is a Infinite Lotus daily work so on this side it would be this is like if I'm at the computer a lot I would like just write down my schedule here and all my todays and then on this side I would write all my notes for that day so I can refer back to it and then I have these from Infinite Lotus which it actually has your schedule this one you can kind of pick what you want to schedule out time wise um, but yeah. yeah this is my finance section and I'm actually going to do a whole video talking about this once I clear all the insert out. So I have filled these out, but um, I will definitely um, have that up and I will post it or I'll put it in the description or something once it is actually up. So I don't want to show anything too crazy. Um, actually, I did think I emptied these out. So. Like the last tab here, I just have like, I have auto maintenance stuff just because this is like vital information I kept putting in um, the back of my planner. But if I were to like lose my planner, I really don't like the idea of having all of my information in the back. So I kind of just stuck it in my finance section because that's also information that I don't want like really easy to find. You know, that. 
And then my project section, so I did clear out this section. And I'm just gonna kind of show you like a mock. Well, I didn't really write anything in it, but I'm just gonna show you kind of how I use it. So information that I don't want to be shown right away when I open it. Um, just some notes about the codes I, I have. And then, so this whole bundle is from Sessa V. And uh, so it has like a calendar overview. And what I put on here is anything. So I, I use the Over app and they actually tell you all the important days for like social media or any kind of like online, like anything that's gonna like help my business online. I just kind of like write down important days here. Like even if it's like a certain holiday or stuff that may be relevant too. So I always write those down here just so I have it. And I really liked this because um, it has 2020, 2021, which is um, after pretty much like August, I'll be making content for 2021. So I really like having a calendar for that in here. This yearly overview, I usually write. So there's like a couple things I manage in this project section. So this is like my work section, basically. Why is um, all my businesses? So this right here, it has like three lines, which is perfect. So I have like my Etsy shop and the two YouTube channels. So I basically just like write a specific goal for each thing on here. And that's been working really well. And then I have like kind of notes that kind of like write down ideas here or just like just any kind of notes that I need like goal wise for my um, businesses. And then this biannual overview. Yeah, I do. This is like what where I want to get stuff done. And then here, this is like where I schedule in any product. Like if I'm putting a new printable out or I'm like making a new freebie, I'm going to put like a release date here. I'm going to and then I'll mark it off. So because I really like the reference calendars it has and then. Um, I can just kind of see how far out I am on certain things. So I, can, I really use these for my Etsy shop. And then the quarterly overview, I, these are my favorite. This is the reason why I got this whole bundle, because uh, I really needed something like this. So it's really cool. You have January, so this is like the first quarter, second quarter, and it is even labeled at the top. Um, second quarter, and third quarter, fourth quarter, I have like, I use this for like 2021 planning stuff, um, but it's really cool. So I highlight every Tuesday and Friday, I have like a video due and then I write down like what I'm doing. And then um, on Thursdays we have, um, on our other YouTube channel, we have videos coming out. So I highlight in a different color every Thursday. And then I also use this, I have one of these pages in my project section as well. And that's like where I, schedule. So this is like pre-planning. I'll write down what I'm doing for the month and then I will, um, once, once it's actually scheduled on YouTube and I just had kept to promote it at that point, I put it on that, uh, monthly reference calendar. So that's kind of like how this works. So it's like all pre-planning stuff. And then up here I'll put like the theme of like what that month is. So I don't know if that, my first Etsy shop, uh, this is my second Etsy shop, not mad about it. Um, this is Systematic Maddie and then Chase Legged Vibes. So my two Etsy shops and two, two YouTube channels. And um, so this is how they all look. They all have a list page. This is from Elmont Paper Co. And this is kind of where I put all the, my important notes or information. Um, I picked this insert just because I can like section it off however I want. Um, so I'll put like my email some passwords that I have like to refer to so then like I can flip to any page right away and know exactly um, what to um, reference. Um, so I just like having this for every single one just because I have a lot of different usernames and passwords and it's hard to keep track. I'll even like, I'll just like leave any kind of notes on here. Like I think in Systematic Maddie I'll put like Tuesdays, Fridays, videos are due, um, blah, blah, blah. And then this is from Elmon Paper Go. This one is, I can't remember the shop. I love her though, but this is from a shop on Etsy and I love the Cornell notes, but I also love like, cause I have them from cloth and paper too, but I like these cause it has more writing. I don't like to write too big cause my handwriting is kind of ugly, but um, I love these. And then this is kind of like an outline of my goals for the year for each, each um, business. So like for instance, not mad about it. I have like a couple of like, ideas of my logo on here and then like how to get engaged. So this is different for all the sections, but 
So uh, for my first one, the Twisted Arrow, that shop's gonna be gone once we do move into the van. But I am, that is basically, this is basically just like an order tracker. So like I have um, painted, sh packed, shipped, that kind of stuff. So that's like an order tracker um, for not mad about it. Uh, digital printables up on Etsy. So I have all of like the um, um, names of like all the inserts I'm doing and then like designed, sized, uploaded, you know, promoted. So that's like kind of what I do for that. And then for YouTube videos, I use this, I just like have the name of the YouTube video and then like filmed, um, edited, uploaded, you know, all that. So I use this in many ways. And this is from Elemon Paper Co. And then I have this. This is from Elemon Paper Co. too. And this is, um, I'm still trying to figure it out, but Systematic Maddie, I'm kind of using this as a stats tracker. So I kind of track like followers on here. Um, I track like video progress and like what's doing better than others. And then I have this last one from Elemon Paper Co. as well. I'm just like writing down like goals throughout the year kind of thing. So, in my theme, I think, or like different things on here. And then I have this from Sesame. I love this like note piece of paper. And then this is just more notes. And so, I just have like this from Cloth and Paper. Super cute. And I need to work on this section more. Um, these are from the bowl um, bundle thing you can buy. It's a printable where you can buy like the physical copy. But I bought the printable. And yeah, you can like print out or you can write out your quarterly goals. Um, she kind of gives you like guidelines on how to do that. And then like you can write down specifically during the week what you need to focus on. So that's kind of what I've been doing. And then a miscellaneous, I don't have anything right now except I made this. This is just a piece of acetate. And then I have a Foxy Fix secretarial pocket again. It's kind of like the same one in the front of the planner that I showed you. And then like another little card pocket here. And I just have like some labels that I printed that I was waiting for stuff to come in the mail to label. And then I just have like this. I don't know. I just kind of like it. I think I got it from cotton paper. I don't know. But yeah. So that's that. And then this is another Foxy Fix dashboard. I just kind of stuck it in here because I'll use it eventually. And then this Foxy Fix one too, which I love this one. So it kind of slides with your planner. And then I just have this uh, came from, this is Elmont Paper Co. Little appointment card. And then another one of those cute little like, I don't know, I just stuck it in there for now. But yeah, that is my planner setup. I hope this video isn't too long, but um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please leave them below. I will try to link everything. If I don't, definitely message me. Um, and I will definitely get back to you on where I got everything. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.